Hi. Hi, how are you tonight? Um, I just attempted to kill my mother and my stepfather. Welcome to True 911 Calls. In June 2013 in Trumbull County, Ohio, a man dialed 911 and spoke to a sheriff's dispatcher, admitting that he had stabbed his mother and stepfather. During the call he made to 911, Thomas Starr only gave vague reasons for his atrocious acts, claiming that his parents were junkies. Later, court testimonials show that Thomas's parents were trying to get him to move out, which might have triggered his vicious response. After stabbing his stepfather, who would later die in the hospital, Thomas stabbed his mother as well, then fled to a wooded area. His mother, covered in blood, managed to crawl outside of the house, alerting a passerby who called 911. In the meantime, Thomas had also called 911 to admit that he had stabbed his family and to surrender. During the trial, his stepsister declared, You were my brother and I loved you. My dad loved you and your mom loved you and you killed him. You killed my father. Starr was initially charged with felony murder, but after hearing additional evidence, the grand jury determined that Westfall's death was premeditated and increased Starr's charges to aggravated murder. Thomas was condemned to life in prison and is still serving the sentence to this day. 911, what's your emergency? Um, yeah. Um, I just attempted to kill my mother and my stepfather. Okay, where are you at, sir? I'm um, hanging out in the woods in Southington. Okay, do you know where you're at? No, not exactly. Okay, are you off of 305? Uh, I'm not sure. That's where I used to live. Okay, what happened? Um, I don't know. I mean, there are a couple junkies and... Okay. I don't know. They're just... They're just bad, bad people, I guess. Okay. Dude, what, uh, did, how did you try to kill them? Um, with a knife. Okay. Where did this, do you know where this happened at? Uh, what do you mean? Be more like, do you, you know where, they, where, where they're at right now? No, I'm not sure where they are right now because I left. Okay. You see, I'm not there right now. So. I understand you. So you said, you said you're in the woods right now? Yeah, somewhere. Okay. What, um, well, one second for me, okay? Do, do you need any, like, medical help right now? No, I mean, maybe. <laughs> you get, I mean, can you go out to the street? I think I'm a little, I think I got something wrong. Okay, can you yeah, go out to, I like, think a... I do need medical help. Okay, well, we can get you some help. Can you go out to a street and see where you're at? Um, no, no, I, I think I'm pretty, pretty deep in the woods at this point. Okay, you don't know which way you're facing or anything, so I can help you get out? No, okay, no, hold on I one, don't. Hold on one second. What's your name, sir? Yeah, I'll, I'll turn my GPS on. You can trace it. On your phone? Yeah. Okay, what's your name, sir? My name's Thomas. What's, what's your, your name? My name's Andy Thomas. What's your last name? I Star. S-T-A-R-R. Okay, Thomas, you still there? Yeah. Okay. Do you still have it with you, you said? What? Do you still have a knife with you? No. No. Oh. I don't have any weapons on me. No? Okay. Where, uh, did, you said you did have a knife, though, correct? I did. I left it. Okay, where'd you leave it at? Um, somewhere in the house. Okay. Do you know an address where, where you were at? Um, I think it's 5435. But 54... I'm off on that. 35? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can hear a siren. Okay. Yeah, we got a call if there was somebody laying in the street. Could that be somebody that you know? Maybe. How can I How can I help you, Thomas? How can I get some help to you? Um, I mean, I don't know. Did you you know, know, I just really, I just really wanted somebody to talk to. That's okay. about it. Okay, well, we'll get yeah, somebody to talk to you. Yeah, I understand. See what's going on, you know? Definitely understand. I'll help you out. Hold on one second for me, okay? Um, you're not being very courteous with our conversation. Okay, well, I, I'm trying to help you out. I just, I got to talk to my officers and uh, paramedics that headed out that way, okay? Yeah, I don't hear him. Oh, what was that, Thomas? You don't listen very well. well I'm, you know, I'm trying to... 911 yeah. operator, you think you would listen a little better to the people that are calling you. Okay, well, we're trying to help you, you out. Know, just, I'm talking oh, to my no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually trying everything. to help you. Okay. You're not helping me at all because I'm the one that committed the crime. So I'm actually helping you okay. by telling you where I am. Okay, well, I appreciate so, it. let's not get that misconstrued. No, we're not trying to do that. We're just, I'm just trying to figure out where you are so we can get some help. Now you're just kissing my ass. Okay, Can well, I talk to somebody else? Let me talk to somebody else. All right, hold on. Hold on. You. Hi, sir. Hi. Hi, how are you tonight? Oh, I'm good. Well, can, how about, can I help? My name's Jeff. Can I help you out? Um, no, Here. not really. I don't think so. I mean, I, I do need some help. Okay. <laughs> like... I need some serious help, I think. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. Okay. Are you but, okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. But, I mean, it's not me you need to be worried about. Okay. Well, what's your name? I did something bad. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to do everything I can to get you some help, okay? Um, what's your first name? 
My name's Thomas. Thomas? Is it okay to call you Thomas? What's your name? My Jeff? Name? Jeff, yes. Oh, what a coincidence. What's going on tonight? Um, not a whole lot. I mean, I know you already know the story. Well, you know what? I to keep me on the phone, I, but I mean, I know uh, you probably got my trace by now. So, I mean, you just want to you just want to talk. Well, no, actually, no, I mean, actually, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to try and run. No, that's fine. I mean, actually, I, I'm just I really here waiting. Okay. I really don't know the whole story cuz I just come into the door. Um all I know is we got a bunch of people trying to help somebody, and I'm not exactly sure where we're going or what we're doing. So, do you want to tell me what happened? Um, I think I did something bad. You think you did something um, bad? Yeah, I killed a bad person. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, what do you think that you did? Uh, I stabbed my stepdad in the throat with a knife. You stabbed your stepdad in the throat with a knife. Okay. Yeah. Um, where is your stepdad right now? Do we need to... Um, you know, I don't know because I'm not there. You're not there? Okay, well, do you remember where you were when you did it? Yeah. Okay. I was, uh, uh where did you... Live? Where did you used to live? Um, it was on 305. I don't know the address exactly. Okay. Um, if I told you, what would you remember? Yeah, probably. 5487, stay route 305? No. That's no. not it, I don't think. Okay, so all we know is this is it. I hit hear a lot of sirens. You hear sirens? Okay. Are I you, hear a lot of sirens. Are you armed? No. No, absolutely not. Okay. Um, I haven't been armed all night. You have been, you said? No, I haven't been armed all night. Okay. Um, what's your father? Are you, you said it was your stepdad? Yes. What's his name? Duh. It's uh, Jeff. It's, oh, it's Jeff. Okay, well, don't hold that against me. I know that's probably why you said what you did, okay? Um, I want to get you as much help as I can get you right now, okay? Are you, I, I, are you I injured? That... <laughs> yes. Okay, don't think it's over, Thomas, okay? Listen, trust me. Don't think it's over. Everybody goes through all kinds of stuff in their life, and we're going to get through this, okay? Um, you don't, I know what happens from here. Well, yeah, but you know what? Let, let's look at it this don't. way, okay? If, Don't try and tell me this for the best. I, I'm not. I'm not going. I to. I called you guys. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And and the reason you called and the reason I'm talking to you is because I want to help you. I'm not going to. I just wanted somebody to talk to. And I didn't know who else. Was okay. Yeah. And you know what? You did the right thing. I will talk to you as long as you'd like me to talk to you. Um, I want to get you some help too. Don't think that. Just because you called 911 that we're the police and we're the ones that are going to try and get you turned in and get you handcuffed um, you, and everything you else. You are the police, and actually, when they find me, I am going to be handcuffed. Okay, well, I'm 911, and I'll tell you this. If, <laughs> if, if, you, if you can do exactly what you're doing on the phone right now and helping me out, um, I will do everything I can to help you out. So when you do talk but to you somebody... you can't do anything to help me. Well, I want to do everything that I can. What, what do you... But what, you can't do anything. What would you like me to do for you? You can't make me any better. Hold on. Uh, yeah, the officer asked if you had a weapon. They're concerned that they, somebody might get shot at or something Yeah, might I was happen. just saying. Okay. No. Um, Have they found my GPS location yet? I hear a little beep in the background, I think. No, that's the other phones, Rian. We we have six different people that are working here answering phones. 4778, does that sound... I'm sorry. But that's okay. No, don't apologize. The the address, does 4778 sound familiar? Yeah. It does? You out, Where are you at so we can try and help you out or talk to you or figure out what's going on? You are talking to me. What do you mean? Well, uh, where are you at physically? I am physically in the woods. You're in the woods, okay. I don't know where I'm at. You don't know where you're at? Okay. No. Um, hmm. How, do you remember how... There's a lot of lightning bugs. There's... Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of how we can try and get you out of the woods Why someplace. Why are you laughing at me? Because of the lightning bugs. That was funny. Because there's I lightning bugs. Funny. There's lightning bugs all over the place tonight. Nothing stands out in the woods where you are. You don't remember how you got to the spot? Yeah, before. there's there's trees. Okay. Um, how, can you tell me what happened tonight? You know, it's really dark, right? Yeah, I know. I know it is very dark. That's that's okay. why I laughed about the lightning bugs, because there's lightning bugs everywhere because of the kind of night it is tonight. It's kind of muggy outside. Can you tell me what happened this evening? What led up to the uh, to the events tonight? Was there an argument, or...? I don't know. I don't know. You're not sure? Okay. There was, uh, it was a normal night, I guess. Okay. They usually argue. Where you, and, then they do, you, and then they do heroin. And you're referring to Jeff? Huh? You said they. Jeff and, who's the other? They, Jeff and my mother. And your mother. Where's your mom at right now? I don't know. You're not sure? 
Okay. Did did anything happen to your mom? Uh, maybe. Okay. You you don't remember, or you're not no. sure. No. You don't remember. What's your mom's name? Lisa. You don't know where your mom is, then. No. Okay. Is she okay? I I don't know. That's why we're trying to get an address and find out where she is. There's a lot of bugs out here. I know. I know. I'm trying to help you out, Thomas, the best I can. Um, no, I'm actually trying to help you out. Look, well, what can I do for you? What um, would you, what you can't would do you... anything for me. I called to help you. Okay. What What do you want me to know, then? I don't, I don't know anything. Okay. That's it for today. Don't forget to like the video if you found it interesting, and subscribe to join us in the next episode, where we will listen to more true stories from 911.